So Bishop Mansour, you know, 49 years since this encyclical Humana Vitae was released, what, is, what can we say about the impact of, of, the, uh, of the ideas in it? I think it's, it's been a tremendous impact. Uh, it's, it's triggered a, uh, a response in mankind, like anything prophetic. Um, our 80-year-old celibate Pope Paul VI has created an, an awareness in the hearts and minds of people about the beauty of woman and the natural complexity of her monthly cycle and of the responsibility of man to come to understand her, her and her equilibrium. But it, um, its reception was very, very poor in many countries, the United States including, included. It was seen as, wait a minute, we're modern. We don't want to be. We don't want to be going back to the to the old days. We want to move forward. And Pope Paul the Sixth in Humana Vitae said, "Yes, move forward, but move forward with wisdom, and move forward with a with an understanding of the beauty of man and woman." And what effect did this writing have on on you at the time? <laughs> Well, at the time, I was a college student. I was studying, uh, I was, in fact, a high school student when it came out in 1968. But uh, I, I, before I entered the seminary, I was studying to be a biology teacher and a health ed teacher, and a small portion of that health ed program was sexuality education. So that was my interest. And back then, there were controversies about natural family planning versus artificial contraception. And, and I remember back then having a, 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 a question of, is the church right about this? Why does the church want to impose her will upon people? They're all going the other direction. Why does the church even bother to teach on this? Why don't they just shut up and let people do what the heck they want? Slowly and surely as I studied and went deeper, and was close to married couples and engaged couples and close to young men and young women, I found the truth is that the church does not want to impose. You can do whatever you want. People will do whatever they want. But here is a better way, a natural way, an affirm, a, a way that affirms the beauty of woman, the com natural complexity of woman, and limits man's desire to own and take and... and uh, and use and gives man an opportunity to really be a better man by respecting that natural cycle in his wife. So I, I'm, I'm all for it. I'm all in. And what resources exist now that uh, you know, weren't even around then that, uh, that can, that, I guess, flesh out this whole vision of uh, humanity? Well, back then was the old rhythm method and the Billings method and other very astute men and women gynecologists, uh, but it's the, the science has has mushroomed into a, an amazing variety of different ways in which um, a, a woman can track her fertility. And one particular way that we, the Diocese of Brooklyn and the Eparchy of St. Marin jointly put together was something called NAPRO technology. It's N-A, capital N-A, na, natural, na, pro, P-R-O, pro, creative. So, na, pro, technology. And it's a technology by gauging from the, from the woman's cervical mucus her exact cycle so that she can track when are the most fertile days and when are the most unfertile days. And by doing that, she's master. She's queen of her own body. Nobody else. The gynecologist is not the is not master of her body. I was read, reading recently a national report studying 197 dioceses and eparchies in the United States about natural family planning, and part of it is very positive <laughs> in the sense that um, now every diocese and and I think eparchy 
is working in the area of natural family planning to promote it among their married couples, their engaged couples, um, even teaching it in a variety of ways in school, hopefully in colleges. But the report is also very, it's a dismal understanding of the dent that we're trying to make in society. And some people see Humana Vitae and the church as the church of no. Humana Vitae, the church of no. I see it as the church of yes. Not the church of no, thou shalt not. But the church of yes to natural, to complexity, to beauty, to relationship. The church of yes.